Hello I'm Karen and in today's video I'm going to be showing with you how to make um, sunflowers. The reason why I'm doing this is really because um, on my other, I did another video where I showed you how to make a tea cozy and you can make it look like a strawberry and I wanted to share with you how to make the bottom piece which actually if I tip it upside down looks like a sunflower okay so um but this and this here is my tiny tiny teapot you take the lid off this is a teapot that you can put your tea in or if you want to make like herbal tea put your herbs in you dunk that in your cup and i just wanted to share it with you because it's really cute and i've actually included it in some of my photos in my patterns that are for sale in my shop or will be by the time i've done this video I would also like to share, I have done the written step-by-step -step version of this pattern. I'm actually going to include that. But I also wanted to share with you that this is actually done, it's mathematical. So I've actually done a demonstration as well of how this works in actual, um, like your times tables. Okay, so round one you do six, round two is twelve, round three. So you're using your times table. I'm going to demonstrate how that works. So you can do mental maths while you're actually crocheting because it's good for you to keep your brain active. Okay, so um so these are going to be double petal versions in this video. Alright, I think I've done everything. And also I want to say I forgot in my teapot in my tea cozy video i forgot to say which hook i was using um i'm using my favorite hook which is a four millimeter hook i'm using double knit yarn the brand of yarn i'm using on this particular video is um called so crafty this is one of um just as neutral yarn it tells you, you can use a four millimeter hook with it but it doesn't actually say it's a double knit yarn but most of the time in the uk it will say it's a double knit yarn because i am in the uk so anyway, we're going to begin by making the centerpiece, which is actually a hexagon. And this is where we're going to be doing our mental maths. So I'm beginning with a twist. You can begin with a slip knot if you prefer. The choice is yours. So hold on to the end and we're going to work two chains. You can actually work a magic circle if you want to. Um, but I'm showing you this way around just because it's easier. So into this first chain, we're going to work six single crochet if you're in the UK, um, six single crochet if you're in the US, six double crochet if you're in the UK. So we're using the same stitch. So that's one, two, three, four. I've moved my tail around so it's actually being crocheted in while I'm working. Five and six now what we're going to do is only on the on round one we're going to actually slip stitch to join okay so slip stitch to join so one times six is six okay so when you've got these uh, um, stitches around the edge you've got one two three four five and technically that last stitch number six is actually your slip stitch so you're going to work into this first stitch. Now we're going to do two stitches in each stitch. So two times six is 12. So we know we need a total of 12. So that's two. Four. Six. Eight, ten, and into that last one, two stitches makes twelve. Okay, from now onwards, we are not going to slip stitch to join, we're just going to keep on going. We're going to use the tail end though, so we pull the tail end tight. We're going to use the tail end as our marker. I'm going to put that across there, okay, and pull that right close to that stitch there because you want to be able to work into this stitch here <clears throat> so round three is our three times table so the way that this works is you go it's um let's tell you in american terms so it's single crochet 
two single crochet, single crochet, two single crochet all the way around, or if you're in UK, it's double crochet, two double crochet, all the way around. Or we can do our times table. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18. So we can see from round three, we've got six sides. I know it's not really looking like a hexagon yet, but it was three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. So your increases are always on your times tables. So that was the end of round three. I'm just going to pull the tail end back through and then use it again to start off round four. So round four is my four times table. So it's going to be working two stitches and then do an increase. Two and an increase all the way around. So that's one, two. The increase is my four times table. So it's just three, four. Yeah. Five. Six an increase which is seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen Get some more yarn. So on 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, so Four times six is twenty-four. I'm going to pull the tail end out, and round five is going to be my five times table for the increases. So every increase is going to be five, ten, fifteen, twenty, etc. Okay. So to wait, the way we do that is we work one, two. Three, and then we do the increase where we do two stitches so that's four five now you can go one two three and do an, an increase so it's like four five one two three and do that all the way around and when you get to the tail end you know you're back to the beginning but like I said this is good for your mental maths it's good for you to keep your brain active because realistically when you're at home you tend to actually like counting inside your head so I've got to five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 
26, 27, 28, and the last increase there, 29, 30. And you can see we're back to the tail end again. So I'm going to pull the tail end out. So you've got two different versions. You can do your easy version or you can do your mental maths. So that was the five times table. So round six, you're going to work into four stitches and then do an increase. So you go one, two, three, four, and then the increase five, six, because we're on our six times table. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, the increase, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and the last dish, 35, 36. Okay, so it's looking really like a hexagon now. Pull the tail end back out and then use it again for your marker. And this time we're going to be on our seven times table. This is the last round. Okay, so this time we're going to work in five stitches. That's one, two, three. Four, five, and then do the increase of the two, which is six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, increase, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, increase, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, and the last stitch, do my 2, 41, 42. So 6 times 7 is 42. So there you have it, that is the basic, basic um, hexagon. If you want to do the larger coaster, you have to actually keep going up so you go all the way up till 10 times, 10 times table, so you end up with 60 stitches, okay? Now, 
for those of you that want to make the sunflower I want you to slip stitch into the next stitch okay for those of you that are adding it to your tea cozy this is one I've made earlier with the little holes in it um, what you're going to do is you're going to go you can slip stitch into there and you're going to slip stitch on here to join okay so I'm going to that's how you slip stitch on to join there yeah um, and so if you've actually just doing just the actual sunflower you will have just slip stitched through your work so then we're going to do one two three skip two and slip stitch okay so if you join it to your tea cozy this is where you join to the third to the middle where you've actually got your join oops it's easy there and then you do one two three skip two and slip stitch through there and this is where you do your third join okay so you continue like that with your tea cozy if you're doing it that way around i'm going to undo it just so that we can just show you for the actual sunflower okay so that's where i finished on my stitch number 42 so you're going to slip stitch into this next piece next stitch and you're going to chain three one two three skip two and slip stitch we're going to do this all the way around so it's one two three skip two and slip stitch 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 one two three skip two 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 slip stitch one two three skip into and we're going to slip stitch back into the beginning slip stitch that we did okay so that's if you're doing the sunflower i'm just going to stop there so i'm just going to show if you was actually doing the actual tea cozy you joined your three there then you did your slip stitch and chain three there the very very end you're going to do the same thing skip those two and slip stitch into that slip stitch where you've actually joined to the tea cozy just there okay and from there onwards that's where you chain and you turn if you're doing the tea cozy if you want to make um because that's only got if i just show you on this one it's only got one row of so if you just want to make one row well, you can move on to the petals but if you want to make the double petals i'm going to carry on to show you how to do that okay so what we're going to do now is you've got this chain that you began in the beginning so you want to be so what you're going to do is you're going to push that chain out of your way because you want to work in these stitches that you haven't used so you're going to go into there slip stitch into the two stitches that you haven't used yeah and then you're going to make a chain of three so you go one two three you go around that stitch you've already done and you slip stitch one two chain three and then move that chain out of the way and work in these two stitches whoops a daisy whoops i dropped it <laughs> and there we go up so that's well i've made that awkward now one two and then chain three move that original chain out of the way 
and work into those two stitches like that one two three I have to go all the way around to be able to show you so <laughs> you're just going to have to bear with me or you can fast forward the video till you get to the one two three to the bit that you want to get to obviously you have the advantage of that because once it's been made you can use little bits and go, actually I don't need that bit now because I've remembered that um, I'm actually um, going to actually put some instructions underneath the videos of these tea cozies and the sunflower one two three just because I haven't done that for a while I have actually written out all of the patterns taken some fabulous photos for these to be fair one two three um, and I'm going to be putting those for sale in my little shop on Etsy which is called cottage cake which I didn't say that in my tea cozy one one two because I forgot to promote myself as usual because I'm that busy thinking about sharing with you I forget to, <laughs> two three I forget to actually think hang on a minute Um, you've got these patterns for sale and you forget to tell people so it's one two three slip stitching into these two Woo try that one again one two and then do one two three and then need these two there one two one two three and then we're getting this is the first chain there so we want to well the end chain and what we want to do is make sure because we did that join over we've joined we've got a loop at the front there we want to make sure we join up to this one here so we want to do one two three okay and just go into that same space where you slip stitched just there okay at this point i'm going to cut off my yarn because i'm going to do the colored petals okay um, if you want to keep on working in the same colour, that's perfectly fine, which I do, obviously, in the um, the base of the strawberry. But for this, I'm trying to make it look like a sunflower. So I'm just going to, this is where we've ended. What I'm going to do is going to just get my yarn. And what you do is, if you carried on with the same colour, you slip stitch into this one. So I'm just going to just put my yarn through like I've done my slip stitch. Okay, and you start, you make the petals from the back of this one so you chain one and then you're going to do a half double if you're in America or it's a half treble if you're in the UK and the next stitch is going to be a double if you're in America or a treble in the UK so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this one in American terms and then the next one in English terms so we've done a half double and it's a double and then we're going to chain two and slip stitch into the top of that it's actually the last stitch and then that's actually the post of the actual chain slip stitch there pinch hold of that pull it through to make the little point on the top i'm going to yarn over make a double stitch because i'm doing american terms a half double a chain one and a slip stitch back into the same space Okay, so then we're going to move on, you, then you literally slip stitch into your next chain three and you do the same process, but this time I'm going to tell you in English terms. So it's chain one, half, treble, treble, chain two, slip stitch into the top of the stitch there and the post there, pinch hold of that to pull it through. And you're going to do a double and the half and then chain one and slip stitch whoops it easy slip stitch into the beginning i'm just looking where did i put my other piece uh-oh i think i forgot oh 
I had a piece where I worked all where I'd worked all the way around to show you what it looks like when you get to actually this stage. But you keep working all the way around. When you get to this very end here, you slip stitch in there, but then you start working into the front loops. Yeah, so that you actually get all of your um, petals in there. Now, if you, I'm just going to just show you my other tea cozy. Let's just get the other tea cozy. This one, I'll just tip it upside down. This one's got like rounded petals all the way around the bottom. Okay, which gives it a really cute look when you sit it down. So, if you're struggling to make these points on the end, what you can do is just do the stitches without the point. So, you still chain one, you do the half. Which is a half double or half treble, and then you do two of these. So I go one, two, then you do another half, and chain one, and slip stitch. So you can make your rounded version. So you can make a rounded version, or you can make the pointed version. Okay. Um, I can't believe that I forgot to bring my other piece with me. Right, so. That is how you actually make the um, the petals. So if you was actually doing it on the actual tea cosy itself, I've done my chain one. You turn and you work the petals on, so they're actually on the back. So you'd actually do. Um, I did my chain one. Hang on, I did a chain one. So I turn. So you need to slip stitch into the chain three space chain one and then you work a half a double oops do the chain two and slip stitch into there and then you continue with your I'll just show you this one so what happens with this one, as you're doing this one, you end up with the right side of your work towards, so when you're actually looking at the tea cosy, and then let's get you the strawberry tea cosy back. And so when you actually, when it's sitting down, these will actually curve up around it to give you that strawberry effect. Okay, so and if you want to go and see how to, um, this is the corner to corner pattern for the tea cosy. Okay, so I've shared that in my other video, and I've lost my crochet hook now. Oh, it's there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just going to undo this bit because obviously I want to finish this off now, make it look like a sunflower, <laughs> seeing as though I've started it. So um, we do chain one. So then it's this. And I think what I'm going to do is if I write down the patterns, oops, Daisy, underneath the videos this time, one, two, um, that'll be nicer for you. But like I say, I've got them for sale because um, we all like to earn ourselves a little bit of money. <laughs> so, um, and then everything that I get from there, it just all goes to help towards me actually buying materials and everything to actually be able to make these videos. Okay, so I'll give you the basic instructions for you to be able to carry on. And obviously, if you go all the way around, you will end up with a small one that looks like this. Um, you, obviously, when you get to the end as well, you need to sew in your ends. But as you can see, these ones was all done with the brown, just the same as that to make those chains. But then once you actually crochet over the top of them, that hides that. And if you want to work it all in one colour, want to do a more lacy version, this is done with some bamboo yarn. So that's really pretty. That looks lovely actually with the little um, tea light candle in the middle. But that's my uh, little teapot thing on there. It looks really cute. I just have really, really lovely photos of these. So do you believe that I've given you all of the instructions of everything? Yeah, we've got that, we've not done, we told you about this. So that just leaves me to say. Thank you for watching, thank you for liking, thank you for sharing, thank you for subscribing. If you want to make your 
sunflower this big it's actually three of the, two little ones and one big one okay um i feel like i've forgotten something but i don't know so thank you for watching thank you for liking thank you for sharing thank you for subscribing thank you for all your lovely comments um i'm having problems at the moment if actually with the comments because youtube changed its format so i actually can't see my um comments box like i used to do so i'm gonna have to learn some new skills on there but i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed the fact that you actually you can actually do mental maths with your crochet so bye for now <laughs>